everyone, it's Elaine Ouyang from Elaine Ouyang Yoga Therapy and today I have a wonderful tool in this video using a very very cheap and inexpensive tool that you can probably find in uh, pretty much any store and any home and especially if you have a pool because we are going to use a pool noodle to help target and address any tension and knots through the upper back in particular that space between your shoulder blades and on the inside of your shoulder blade. So go ahead and watch this video and if you enjoyed it, then please be sure to um, like it and subscribe to my channel. I love sharing practical tools like this with you and share with anyone, friends or family that you know will benefit from this. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment below or email me at elaineyogatherapy at gmail.com. Today we're going to start with using a swim noodle. And um, so this is just one of those long swim noodles that you can buy anywhere in a swim shop or Target, Walmart, Amazon, dollar store. And I've just simply truncated it down into thirds. So one of those three or one of those long ones, I've truncated it down into one third of that length. And um, this noodle is one of my favorite tools in helping resolving tension through upper spine and also the whole spine. But today we're going to use this to focus on the upper spine. So um, let me demonstrate what we're going to do first. I'm actually going to take out my sweater so you can see where we're going to be placing. And there goes my microphone. Where we're going to be placing the noodle okay so let me just click my microphone back here okay so this noodle we're going to do this lying down but this noodle is going to go just along the inside of the shoulder blade on the right side to start with okay so not directly center on the spine not all the way out here not up here you'll find that you can you can see my shoulder blade there that this part you see that kind of winged part so that's where the shoulder the inside of the shoulder blade is so you're going to line it up approximately right there and lie down on your back so the noodle is actually going just down to the bottom tip of your shoulder blade and your head is on the floor now if your chin lifts up as you lie down then place a pillow or blanket underneath your head so that you can keep your neck in a neutral alignment. Okay, so let me just come up and show you again where exactly it is. So right here, inside of your right shoulder blade, and then kind of a third of the way down your back, right? Just to the bottom tip of your shoulder blade, or uh, for ladies, it's just around where the bra strap hits, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna just kind of approximate your noodle here, and then lie down with your head on the floor. So the noodle is actually sticking out to the right side of your head and your ear. Your head is on the floor and using a, a propping accordingly for your head if your neck and head is kind of falling back like this. And it will just stay here. Keep your knees bent. You can have your feet a little wider and your knees resting against each other and keeping your knees bent, leaning down into the floor. Now, if you feel like the pressure is really, really intense, you can kind of lean away from the noodle a little bit. So I'm leaning a little to my left side. If you want more, and then can lean into the noodle, okay, so that you get a little bit more pressure right along the inside of your shoulder blade. And then you can go ahead and also roll your arm and shoulder like this. That's if you're swimming. And this will just help you get into certain areas through the inside of your shoulder blade that are otherwise a little harder to reach into. You'll also feel potentially some layers of tissues kind of glide along each other, slide along each other, or maybe not slide, maybe it feels more like kudunk, kudunk, which is what mine is feeling right, like right now. Okay, but you'll definitely feel like you're getting into different layers. And then if there's any angle that feels like you're hitting just that right spot, you can definitely pause and stay there a little while longer. 
deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, and deep breath out. Good, and one more like that. And then you can roll onto your left side, take the noodle out and come back down onto the floor, lying flat. See if you notice any changes and differences in that right shoulder blade. And you'll be surprised how um, simple it is to do and how effective it actually is just using this kind of modest, humble looking noodle that we never thought of beyond summertime. So you're gonna now take that noodle, you can just roll to your side and just slide it down along the inside of your left shoulder blade. And then lean into the noodle, lie on your back. Again, your head is either on the floor or on a separate blanket or pillow. And noodle sticks out to the left side of your head. And if it's too intense, you can lean slightly away. If you want a little bit more, you can lean in. Okay, so I'm just gonna stay more or less in the center. The noodle goes down about third of the length of your whole back or just to your breast strap if you're a lady. Okay, and then you can use your arm to make circular motion like you're swimming. And you can start small. And go in, it doesn't have to be perfect circle. You can go along the sides, out to one side, around, kind of exploring on your own. Again, you'll feel layers of muscles and tissues gliding, sliding, or maybe more like chunks moving. And if there are any particular angles where you're like, oh yeah, that's a spot. You can totally stay there, just like I am now. And take a few breaths. Another one, inhale. And as you exhale, you can take the noodle out by leaning out to one side, take it out. Oh, and laying it back down, you can put the noodle out to the side. Good, and just notice how that brief exercise with the noodle allowed your shoulder blade and upper back to feel at this moment. Take one more breath in, and a slow, easy exhale.